Hi guys, welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we got a great one for you today. We're going to show you how to create a custom secondary menu. We've created global menus before in the past several times. Some of you requested that we make a secondary menu. It's a great little feature to have. Of course, creating global menus means that you can build anything that you want into your menus. You can add social media links, you can add images, you can do live maps, mega menus if you want to. So they're really handy little features and really easy to do. So in this video today, we're going to add a secondary menu to our existing menu. Let's get on it. So here we have our existing site with a custom global header. Here's a little bit of expanding text we did a couple of videos ago. We're going to turn this header into something that looks like this with a secondary menu on the top of it. And we've got some more options here and some little social media icons and a little telephone number. And of course, it's totally responsive. If we look at it on mobile devices here, if I hit my F12 key. Here we've got it on an iPad. And as you can see, we've got our little bar up there. But I've combined the menus, so we've only got one little hamburger here that's combined everything from both menus there. And it'll do the same thing if we look at it on a iPhone 12. Just shut that down. We've got our little secondary menu up there with our social medias, our little logo, and a single hamburger menu. And of course, if we go back to desktop, we've got two separate menus, logo, number, social medias up there. Really easy to do. I'm not going to go through building the actual initial custom header right there. We did that in another video, but I will go through adding a little secondary menu like this. Great. So the first thing we need to do is go down to our dashboard. I'm going to go down to Divi and Theme Builder. Here's the global header that we created before. Have a look at our global header playlist if you're not sure how to set that up. Now let's just undo this so we've got what I had originally. Okay, so we're back to how we had it initially with our regular menu right here. I've just got an image module and a menu module created with that today. Let's just check. If I refresh this, should go back to our regular menu. Great. Okay, well let's add our secondary menu now. I'm going to hit the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to use a regular section. I'm going to throw three columns in mine. In the first one, I'm going to throw a little blurb module with a telephone number. And we'll delete all that text there. If you want to make that number a live call number so that when they tap on it on mobile and tablet, if they've got a phone link on it, it'll call the number. You can put what they call a tell link in. I'm actually going to do it for the whole module rather than just the title there, which would be the number. So anywhere they click on it, it's going to do it. And that would be tell. Then a colon. Then you need to put the country code in. USA is plus one. UK would be plus four, four. Then your area code. And then the number itself. with no gaps or stops. That way when they click on it, it'll actually create a live call. Great, I will leave like that. I'm gonna chuck a crazy color in the background for a moment so we can see exactly what's going on here. Now image and icon just above here, I'm gonna use a little telephone icon. So I'm gonna hit the switch to add an icon. Let's search for a phone. Use whatever icon works for you. Just use that one. Okay, that's way too big, of course, and I want it on the left. So I'm going to go to Design, Image and Icon. I'm going to make it white. I want to place it on the left. Fantastic. And I'm going to take it down just a little bit in size there. Something like that. Again, do whatever works for you. Okay, I want to make my text white too, so I'm going to roll over it, hit the little paintbrush, it'll take me straight to it. I'll make it white in color. I'm going to take it down a little bit so it's more in line. I want to make it a bit smaller too. So let's make it perhaps 14 pixels. 
And to line it up with that icon, I'm going to actually use line height just below here. If I roll it up, you'll see that text coming down. And something like that's going to work for me. Great. Well, I want this whole module to be in the middle of the column it's sitting in. That's why I put this little background here. So if we close up our title text here, still in the design, if we go to sizing, let's give it, well, we'll try 200 pixels, 200. Make sure you put the PX on the end or else it'll put a percent there and that won't work too well. I think 150 might help. That's okay. And like I say, I want it in the middle of the column that it's sitting in. So module alignment here, I can just add that. Great. We will let's save that now. I'll take that right away in a moment. Let's make this background background color that we want. I'm just going to use the default blue. So I'm going to click on the blue field there. I'm going to go into the section, the blue tab. Background wise, we'll just use that default blue. While I'm in here, I'm going to take any padding away top and bottom because I don't want this to be too deep. So still in the section over in design, I'm going to go to spacing. Padding wise, I'm going to just put a zero where it says top there. I'm going to hit the chain. Don't have to put the PX in, it does it for you. Great. Well, that skinnied it down a little bit and we'll fix it all in just a moment. Great. Well, in the middle, I'm going to have my secondary menu, which is going to consist of four options. Let's go down here. I'll find a menu module. Here we need to select the menu we want. I've made one called secondary with four options on it. There it is right there. For anybody that doesn't know, Go down to your dashboard, appearance and menus. Here you can create menu and you will have had to have some made before they'll turn up there. When you first get here, you can hit the create new menu, save it. Then you can start adding the pages or custom links, whatever you want to do. Make sure you save it there and then we can apply it. So let's go back over here. At the moment, it gives it a default white background. I don't want that at all. So down in background. I'm going to hit the trash can right here to take it away. And over in design, I want it to be centered. So layout wise, defaults left aligned. I'm going to have it centered. I've got no drop down on this, but if I did have downwards would be the way because it's going to be on top here. If you had this menu lower down the page, you could choose to open it upwards, but downwards is going to work for us today. And that menu text itself, I'll make the active link and the regular link white in color. Let's just perhaps make it semi bold so it stands out a little bit more. Great. Well, let's go back and remove this. I think I'll make that semi bold too. I'm going to go back into our first module content, background, background's always under content. Take that away. And let's go to our text by going to a little paintbrush there. I'll make that semi bold also. Great. Let's add some little social media buttons over here, perhaps. Now, yeah, add a new module. I'm going to go down to social media follow. Puts in two by default. I'm going to put in one. I'm going to go in there, choose your social network. Obviously, in here, put the link to the page you want to take them to. Background-wise, it puts in the default for whatever social network you, you've got going on. I'm going to change mine. I'm going to make mine black in color. Then perhaps when they hover over it, we'll make it a different color. This is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing within a module, see a little arrow icon there, you can create a hover state. You've got desktop when the mouse is not on it. If you click on the hover tab, you can have a completely different value in there. That's great. It's a little bit too big for me. So if we go over to design now and icon, let's just flip it back to desktop. That's on the hover state at the moment. I'm going to use custom icon size. We'll take it down. I think I used something like that before. Obviously adjust yours to taste. Now I want to make my little icons round. So I'm going to go down to border. I'm going to put 50 in there. Again, you don't have to put the pics in, it'll put it in there for you. But we've got a nice round social media icon. Save that, it'll take you back to your social media follow settings. And I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. Obviously, you want to update your network. 
and update the link. I'll just pause while I do these other ones. Great, and if I move this out of the way, it's put in the default colors as I mentioned before. I want them all to have the same as our first one we gave that hover color to. So the easiest way to do that is just right click on that first one, extend item styles. I want to extend to this, everything in this column here. So I'll select this column, hit extend. That's great. And again, this module, I want to be in the middle of our little column there. Great, that's shaping up. Let's save this and we'll make it the actual size we want it and put it where we want it. Okay, I'm going to select the section here. We've already taken the padding away from that. So let's go into the row this time. If I click in the middle, the green tab for the row. Design, spacing. Let's maybe try padding five pixels top and bottom. There's five. Let's add the little chain. There we go. That's not too bad. I want to take that down a little bit. I want to take that down just a little bit too. There's a couple of ways we can do that. So if we go into this module, try giving a bit of padding on the top to bring it down. Here's the padding top. You can just start incrementing up with the little arrows until it's where you want it. That's okay, but it's added a little bit to the bottom of our menu there. If I take that back down where it was or take it away completely, we can do it another way. We can use the transform trans translate. So still in design, if we go down to transform, second tab is translate. We'll uncheck the chain. Let's try incrementing it down this little arrow. So I'm going up actually to make it go down. There we go. And we've not added any more space there to our little menu, which works for me. Okay, and this middle one looks to me like it can go down maybe a pixel. And we'll try it with padding. I'd rather do it with padding if I can. Spacing, padding top. I think that looks about right. Or we'll see adjust yours to taste. Similar thing with this one. I think if I add padding, it's going to make our little secondary menu bar thicker, and I don't want that. So we'll go into this one. And we'll use the transform translate with this one as well, perhaps. So over to design again. Down to the bottom to transform. Second tab, uncheck the little chain there. And to make it go down, we need to increment up. I think that's it right there. Perfect. Okay, well, let's chuck this one on the top. And I find the easiest way of doing that is to roll over the little icon over on the right hand side called layers over here. You can grab the section and just drop it where you want it. Fantastic. Okay, well, that's going to work kind of but i think we're going to have a bit of problem on tablet and mobile and I'll, I'll show you exactly what i mean so if i save this one now we could look over here on tablet and mobile great well everything's shaping up pretty much the way that we want it there's one little problem that you might come across though if you're building a secondary menu into a regular global menu you're going to find when it reduces down to tablet and mobile You've actually got two hamburger menus, one in the secondary menu we just created and one in the original regular menu there. Now, if you don't mind having two hamburgers, they're both perfectly functional, then that's great. You can leave it just exactly how it is. For me personally, though, I'd like them to be both combined. So there's only one drop down for anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about. Hamburger menu is a little three bar icon that you see on tablet and mobile that you tap on your menu drops down to. So I'm going to go down to my dashboard, down to appearance and menus, and I'm going to create another menu that combines both of these menu items in it. And then what we can do, Divi has the feature to hide and show various elements on desktop, tablet, and mobile. So I can select the originals, have them show on the desktop, and our new one, I can just have it showing on tablet and mobile. That way we've only got the one hamburger menu, and to me it looks a lot tidier. And I'll show you exactly how to do this. Really easy. Let's get back on it. I click on tablet. That's okay. It doesn't look like our phone modules in the middle there. 
and our hamburger down here is on the left. And we've got two hamburgers, one for each menu. Now, if you like that, fine, leave it just as it is. But I just want one on tablet and mobile. So let's fix some problems we got. We've got to put that in the middle and we've got to make that hamburger white. But I'm actually going to hide that one. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a minute. So let's go back to desktop. Here's our menu right here. It's obviously not centrally aligned. We go into this menu, design, layout, left align. Now you can leave it there on desktop if you want to, but I'm going to have mine in the middle. So the mobile's in the middle. So I'm going to put it in the center, which works absolutely fine for me. It scooted it a little bit over the left on desktop, but that'll work. But I don't want two hamburger menus. So I'm going to hide this one and this one on tablet and mobile and create another menu that we'll have just on those two devices. So if I save this now, now we go to our page and refresh. There it is, it looks fine on desktop, but if we look at tablet, if I hit my F12 key, there it is on mobile. We've actually lost our little menu down here. I'm pretty sure it's there, but perhaps it's the wrong color. And there's our top menu. We've got issues with that going behind the logo there. So let's fix that. I'm going to go into this row at the top. I'm actually going to hide this whole row on mobile or column, I should say, not the whole row. We're in the green tab for the row. We've got three columns there. The middle column is the one with the menu in there. I don't want to see that. So I'm going to go over to advanced and visibility. I'm going to hide this one on phone and tablet. I'm going to save that. I'm going to do the same for this menu. I can't do it with a whole row because I'm going to put another menu underneath, which combines both of these. So I'm going to go into this menu module. Again, I'm going to go over to advanced and visibility. I'm going to hide it on phone and tablet. Looks like I've already done it. That's great. That's why we couldn't see it just now, obviously. Now I'm going to go to my menus. I'm going to create a new menu. Give it a name. I've already done mine. I've called my Moby and I've combined both of those menus together. So we've got the top and bottom in just one. So we've only got the one drop down. Save your changes. Remember the name. Now we can go back to our theme builder. I can add a new module underneath this one. Hit the little dot plus to add a new module. Again, I'll use a menu module. We'll select our Moby, which was the combination of the two. And visibility wise, I don't want to see this on tablet and mobile. So or I should say, I only want to see this on tablet and mobile. So I'm going to disable it on desktop. It's slightly graded out for us there. And the actual hamburger menu itself, I want to make sure our menu's in the middle again, centered, because all we're going to see is the hamburger menu. And I'll demonstrate this in a minute. And the color of that hamburger menu, you can do under icons here. Here's the hamburger menu. I'll make it that default blue again. And we should be good to go. Let's save our changes here. We'll save our changes down here. Let's go over to this page. Here's the old menu. Let's just refresh this page. Here's our new menu on desktop. We've got our options menu up there and we've got our sections menu down here. We've got our little social medias that are going to work and our live call number. Let's have a look on the tablet and mobile. I'm going to hit my F12 key again. And you'll notice there's no hamburger menu up here because we combine the two into this single hamburger menu down here. It's got all those options and links on there. Fantastic. And it should be the same for our tablet also. If I go into the tablet, iPad Air, close that down again. We've made that hamburger the same color. We've got no color up here. We still got the live call link and the social media buttons logo. And again, we've got this nice combined menu just for the one. And if we go back to our desktop, if I just get rid of this, we've got both menus back.
What a great little feature. So there we have it, guys. This is how to add a custom secondary menu to your existing global header. Really easy to do, as you can see, and you can get some great effects. I've kept mine extremely simple today. I've just added a live telephone call number, the actual menu itself, and some social medias. But there's nothing stopping you going to town. You can add absolutely anything you want to these things and make really complex and interesting menus if you want to. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, because it's always great to hear from you, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Please don't get upset if I don't answer your questions though. We've got a lot of subscribers now and over five and a half million views, I believe. I do my best to answer everything but sometimes I can't get to it all. But I do appreciate all of you watching either way. Thank you so much. If you have enjoyed this today, have a look at our menu effects playlist. It should pop up over here any minute now. You'll probably find something that you like there. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and RedDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.